Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened starseed here with a message for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Thank you. I'm sending you guys love, light, gratitude, some Palo Santos. Thank you. This is going to be a collective message. It is a timeless reading. It is a general message and it is a reading for all signs. So for all zodiac signs, you guys, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your person's energy and see what is going on, right? Because I, it's like somebody is beginning to awaken. Somebody is beginning to see things clearly now, right? I feel like there were a bunch of illusions. That's what I'm picking up on, right? So we're going to go ahead and tap into your person's current energy and also the energy around this reading. And you guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid. It can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her, people, places, things. Y'all, let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. Spirit is giving us a message. So, you guys, there was some chaos, some conflict, and somebody is in regret over this chaos. Because I feel like somebody is burdened by some chaos, right? So, I feel like you guys... There was, you guys were, it, it was a, like a big argument or something like that, right? And I feel like somebody is in a lot of regret, like deeply burdened by what was said or how things happened. Yeah, and there is someone that desperately wants to get back on the right track with you. This person is very focused. They're very focused on making things right with you or fixing things with you. That's what I'm seeing here, right? They want to reconcile. They want to reconnect. They really regret this chaos, conflict, arguing, whatever. Something took place here, right? I'm picking up on a major upheaval here, whereas something was revealed, and I feel like Divine Feminine, you really... Whatever you said, whatever you said to this person, Divine Feminine, it definitely has them in deep despair, deep regret. I feel like you walked away from this person. There was a message or there will be a message of good news. So I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles and I'm also seeing the Page of Pentacles, okay? So yeah, there is, wow. It's like there's a message of good news or like someone has good news for you is what I'm getting. But there was a major upheaval, a major shift. This is a separation or a no contact type of energy that I'm picking up on. I know it's a no contact, but child. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh. Okay, so this Divine Masculine is very protective. Look at all of these wands that are coming out. There's conflict. This Divine Masculine is burdened and regret, right? They want to make things right, but there's also a lot of protection. So I feel like even though there was all of this chaos and this major upheaval that took place here. I'm picking up on this connection still being protected by the divine. This was a necessary separation. Yeah, because we got the seven of wands here. So I'm picking up on angels protecting this union. Spirit guides, right? Ancestors is what I'm getting. But also, this divine masculine is very protective of you with someone child what is going on here spirit why is that seven of wands here please give us more for the collective divine feminine divine masculine
We have the five of cups here. There was a lot of jealousy. There was a lot of jealousy. There still is a lot of jealousy. This divine masculine is very protective of you. I'm seeing with this five of wands, it's like, I feel like there's a third party, but I'm also feeling like this divine masculine feels like they messed up with you, but you're starting to notice someone else or something like that, because it's like you see the cup half empty with them, but you may see it full with somebody else. You may be noticing someone else. Or was this divine masculine accusing you of someone else, but they were playing in your face? And that's what caused this major upheaval. Okay, so this divine masculine is insecure. This divine masculine is very insecure, okay? So I feel like this divine masculine made a mess of everything. They felt as though you get a lot of attention, divine feminine. They're beginning to realize they've made a huge mistake here with you. They're beginning to realize that they messed up and they took you for granted, right? And now they're realizing that you are rare and you can't be replaced is the energy that I'm getting, right? It's like, I feel like you get a lot of attention, right? So you have a lot of options, but it's almost like this masculine at the time forgot about that or really didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the way you love them, Divine Feminine, they felt so much like it was tailor-made to them, right? Your love was tailor-made to them and that, you know, you're loving and healing empathetic energy was just it was just tailor-made for them right so they could never imagine you know you being with someone else right but they forgot that you do have options is what i'm getting so like it's like all of a sudden this divine masculine is realizing the options that you have but also i'm picking up on they played in your face. This divine masculine wants to talk to you. Okay? They want to talk to you. And I'm getting beyond the, um, the upheaval, the chaos, the conflict. They want to have a conversation with you. Um, they want to be vulnerable with you now. But I feel like there was a lot of insecurity, right? So even though... This divine masculine realizes you're their divine counterpart, right? You're the person that you were tailor-made for them. But they never imagined anyone else in your energy, but they were also insecure at the same time. So it's like this divine masculine thought that you would abandon them or that this wouldn't last, right? There's abandonment issues, right? So this divine masculine still played, right? Or they still they still kept options open, right? There was a third party here. I'm definitely picking up on a third party energy, a third party feminine that this divine masculine was still keeping the door open with, right? So this is someone from their past is what I'm picking up on. But I'm seeing here with the full card, this divine masculine is burdened because after this conflict and the chaos, the upheaval, a lot of things were said. So now things resonated, right? Now they're beginning to realize they've made a huge mistake, taking you for granted, playing in your face, right? type of energy they realize how rare you are but not only that they realize that how loyal you were to them regardless of the attention that you got they realize now you were very loyal to them and that you were all theirs you were truly tailor-made for them right but they were fragmented distorted and i feel like immature and insecure yeah Spirit, please give us more for this, for the collective. What? 
So they played in your face, but then they also, it was like, I keep picking up on these accusations, like false accusations or you being accused of being with someone. So there could be another, there could be another masculine energy that is around you, right? Because I'm picking up on a lot of jealousy, right? Um, a lot of protection. This divine masculine, look, third parties meant nothing. Like literally they didn't, right? This was something as a cushion, as a safety net. This divine masculine is very protective over you, no matter what, right? So this divine masculine would have no problem. I feel like they definitely have cleaned up things is what I'm getting, but they want a new beginning with you. Judgment, right? Yeah. So I'm seeing the Phoenix rising. They regret how things happened. 1111 was just on the timer. Yeah. Angel number 1111. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, right? Angel numbers. Hmm. They want this new beginning. They want to forget about how they behaved. They cannot imagine somebody else loving you or you loving someone else. This person was extremely, I'm not getting possessiveness, but I am getting that they don't want anybody else coming near you, Divine Feminine. Ciao. Mm -mm. There's somebody around you. I'm seeing King of Pentacles. Oh. 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 I'm seeing King of Pentacles, and then I'm seeing the Moon card. Right when I said there's somebody around you, there's another masculine. Somebody, there's a masculine that's hiding their feelings. Uh oh, and this is someone that's stable too. Like this is someone. This is another per. I keep getting this energy in y'all's readings. Look, I don't know, Divine Feminine, there is a masculine that is interested in you. This is someone that I feel like is very attractive. They're very stable type of energy, um, financially stable. There's something to do with financial stability, but it's someone with hidden intentions or hidden feelings. They're hiding their feelings, right? This divine masculine, I feel like, is picking up on this, right? And now you guys are separated, and they are beginning to realize they made a huge mistake taking you for granted, how rare you are. They realize you cannot be replaced, right? This divine masculine is nostalgic over you. They realize that you guys share a past life connection. You guys are divine counterparts, right? Yeah, you're there. You, you are their specific person, right? Oh, here. This divine masculine is concerned with you coming into union with someone else. Okay. They're concerned with you coming into union with someone else and having a happily ever after with someone else. Y'all, this divine masculine is afraid they're going to be losing you. There's a king of pentacles here. Now, this is someone that's hiding their feelings and this could be someone that you don't realize. This is another masculine, right? So this could be someone that you're friends with. And I picked up on that again, right? But it's like, this could be someone that you are friends with. Um, and it's like, you may not notice it, but this divine masculine notices it. Now, this could be also too part of why they were losing it. Now, again, this Divine Masculine was definitely, I, I'm picking up on the third party with this Divine Masculine, but they were shook to find out that there is this King of Pentacles, right? That is hiding their feelings. 
something about hiding their feelings and and I just heard in plain sight. So this is someone that you know. I'm picking up on this other masculine energy. Now, divine masculine who you're separated from and no contact with, right? Is concerned because this is divine intervention at play, right? Divine intervention and I'm seeing this happily ever after. So they're concerned with they're concerned with you coming into union with this other masculine. Yeah, they are concerned with that, right? They feel like now that they have messed up, they're on the outside, they're out in the cold, right? No contact, but they know that there's this other masculine and this may be somebody you don't even realize, child. See, this divine masculine is losing it behind the scenes is what I'm getting. Look, look at this. They want to offer their cup of love to you. Yeah. So this divine masculine that you're separated from, they have begun to realize, right? They made a huge mistake. They acted careless with your feelings. And especially it's like something, How whatever they said to you, I'm getting, it's like they are burdened. This conflict that you guys had, I'm getting there were a lot of things that were said. And there are a lot of things that definitely hit home. But I feel like there were some illusions, some things going on behind the scenes. But look at this. Mm, Ace of Cups. See? The masculine that you're in separation from wants this new beginning with you. They want to bring their cup of love back to you. They realize that you guys share a deep soul connection, right? They realize that you are their divine counterpart, right? Divine feminine. They understand the spiritual connection that you guys share. This is their current energy, right? They have awakened, tapped into their higher self, right? They see things clearly now. There's a lot of regret. They're burdened by that last conflict, that upheaval that happened, right? They keep replaying these things in their head. Yeah, but look. They're concerned of this new beginning. Because, see, you gave them unconditional love. Love that they've never experienced with anyone else before. Divine Feminine. No judgment, just unconditional. Your love was pure. Your love was rare, right? And this Divine Masculine realizes that they made a huge mistake. They made a huge mistake, right? Playing in your face and being insecure. They knew that you were everything that they wanted and needed, right? <sighs> but they were so insecure. It was the abandonment issues. They had a lot of growth to do. There were those inner wounds, right? So they had to do the introspection. They had to do the inner work, right? And they're, they definitely have cleaned things up is what I'm getting. But child, they're over here out in the cold is what I'm getting. They are out in the cold with you. And they're worried now because look, they're worried there's going to be a new beginning with you and someone else. And they're worried about you giving that unconditional love, that overflowing cup of love, a new beginning with this other person because... And this King of Pentacles, who? This King of Pentacles here, I feel like this person. Mm. Now, this could be a soulmate. This could definitely be a soulmate. We tap into a lot of twin flame energy here, but I'm seeing this is definitely some competition for this divine masculine, and this divine masculine is out in the cold. But they've awakened, right? Look at this. High Priestess card. So we have Pisces energy on the board, right? So that's definitely hidden emotions, hidden intentions, something hidden, right? That's getting ready to come to light. Now, this Divine Masculine, look at that. I feel like they're tapping into that energy, right? They're picking up on this. 
they know this masculine's intentions. You may not know it, but they know this masculine's intentions. So now this divine masculine has awakened, right? The divine masculine that you are in separation from, right? And no contact from. They have awakened, but now look, they're out in the cold. They are out in the cold, right? And they think that there is another love offer coming towards you. And look, we got the Knight of Cups and we got the Page of Cups. I am seeing multiple love offers. Divine Feminine, you may have been in hermit mode after this argument or upheaval, this chaos conflict. You may have been in hermit mode. You may, yeah, like, but I'm seeing here, there is getting ready to be a major shift. Things is about to get, hmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Things are about to get more, um, very interesting, right? So look, you're being manifested and you're also someone's manifestation. You're multiple people's manifestation is the energy that I'm getting. You... People are seeing the qualities that you have. You have everything going that, you know, I'm picking up on this divine masculine that you're separated from. And there's also this other new masculine energy that's seeing that you have everything they want and need. You are being thought about a lot. And I feel like those thoughts are actually pulling at your energy, right? So I feel like you may be feeling like you may be getting that type of energy, like even though you're in hermit mode or you've been isolating, things like that, you may have been doing some self-isolation, healing after this last upheaval, chaos, conflict, right? But I'm seeing here with the magician card, you being manifested and I feel like you have spiritual gifts as well. So you're tapped in, right? But it's like all of a sudden you're like, you know what? You're feeling like, you know, it's time to get prepared, like that nesting energy, right? Like, you know, you feel like getting your hair done, getting your nails done, you know, getting a haircut, whatever it is, right? I feel like and you're, you feel like the need to make these preparations, right? This is because I'm picking up on the energy that there is some, there's multiple you have two masculines pulling at your energy. I see that. I see multiple love offers, right? Wow. And I'm seeing that we have the Eight of Cups and we also have the Six of Swords, right? So that's definitely giving me that abandoning, walking away. And then that's also giving me the six of swords, right? So the six of swords in this, so this is no contact. This is abandonment, right? Walking away from something. So this could be you walking away from one of these energies, right? Yeah. Spirit, please give us more about the eight of cups and the six of swords. Please give us more. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is deeply in love with you. King of Cups, right? King of Cups. Oh, why is the King of Cups here? Okay. You mean the world to somebody, and I'm seeing a new cycle beginning, right? So you mean a great deal to someone, and I'm seeing a new beginning starting. So there's a lot of love from this masculine energy with the king of cups and they want to start a new beginning this is a deep soul connection right someone has made the decision they've made the decision to come towards you right yeah this person's made the decision to come towards you what else we got spirit mmm because their soul recognizes you. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm seeing a commitment here. This is a long-term commitment in the future for this connection for you. I'm seeing harmony. I'm seeing a ceremony, a commitment ceremony. Angel number 1111 is showing up again. 
Yeah, pay attention to those signs and synchronicities because that 1111 keeps showing up, right? And if you notice, there's two here and two here. So you could be seeing angel number 222 two, two as well. Because Divine Feminine, you're about to come into union with someone. I'm seeing harmony, happiness, commitment, a ceremony. Didn't I just say balance? Soon as I split the deck, there's temperance. Sagittarius energy on the board, right? So this... This Four of Wands clarified, this Four of Wands clarified this Magician card, the Ace of Cups. This is giving me that new energy, right? I feel like this person's going to try and move fast, right? This person's going to try and move quickly with you. Also, with it being the Wands energy, that's that newer masculine energy, right? They want a long-term commitment. This is someone that definitely knows what they want, right? Hmm. But then I'm seeing the temperance card, right? So I'm seeing balance with you and this divine masculine that you're in separation from. I'm seeing happiness, harmony, coming into balance, right? Mm-hmm. Child, look at this. Something's coming to an end and a new beginning, right? So I'm seeing... Now, this could be representative of this divine masculine that you're separated from. This could be representative of the change with them, right? So I am picking up on a change with them. Ciao. Oh, and they're taking action to come back towards you. I feel like they're taking a leap of faith, right? So we have the chariot card here, right? They've cut all ties with the past, these past energies, and they want a second chance. And they know they got competition. They're be look, they're beginning to realize exactly how rare you are. And they made a major mistake taking you for granted, child. What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Mm -hmm. Look, chariot card coming back for their empress. Mm-hmm. That's the divine masculine coming back for you, divine feminine. That loving, nurturing energy, yes. Yes, they see things from a whole new perspective. Yeah, they see things from a higher perspective. Ciao. You, they, there's some competition. This, I picked up on this before. You guys, there, there's going to be some competition. It's like they're going to be competing for your love. Yeah, because I'm seeing here, look, the Empress. Look, and then we got the Queen of Cups. See, it's that loving, nurturing, healing energy. It's your light. That aura that's around you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. There's going to be some competition. Mm-hmm. There's definitely about to be some competition surrounding your union chow look so this divine masculine that you were separated from i feel like this divine masculine that you are in no contact from look you've tamed them they're very different and i'm seeing that this love is eternal this is infinite love right it's like this love is written in the stars Oh, look at the spying energy. This no contact got this divine masculine losing it behind the scenes. And they know that there is someone else out there that's trying to come towards you, divine feminine. That's got them losing it. They got to break no contact. Because they're beginning to realize they made a huge mistake and they can't let somebody else take you away from them. Uh-uh. They see how rare you are, but so does this other person, right? This is by masculine, been spying, asking questions. Yeah. I feel like this new masculine has been spying as well, because that's clarifying that four of wands. This is somebody this divine masculine knows. 
Uh-huh. They could have had conflict with this person before. But this person has never made their feelings known. But now that you and Divine Masculine are separated, wow. I wonder if this is someone that was once a friend of this Divine Masculine. Look, see, Divine Masculine knows they need to take action. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius energy on the board. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Oh. This Divine Masculine is hoping that you still feel the same for them. Mm-hmm. They're hoping they haven't ruined things with you forever. It's like they know that you are their divine counterpart. They realize that you guys, your souls have activated. You guys had a soul activation. You're, you guys have a past life agreement. You have a soul contract, right? Mm-hmm. But this divine masculine realizes how bad they messed up. They want to know how you feel. Mm-hmm. See? Right when I said that, the two of pentacles, they juggled in the past, but you're now the priority. And I seen that with the page, not the page of pentacles, but the knight of pentacles, right? So this divine masculine, you are now a priority with them, right? Mm-hmm. Great when I said that. That's the bi masculine's energy, right? Yeah. But they realize that their behavior could be the catalyst for you starting to look elsewhere. They're afraid they're losing you, Divine Feminine. They're afraid that they're losing you. Oh, child, look at this. Look at this. So we have the lover's card here. So I'm seeing a divine partnership, a divine union, right? But I'm picking up, now this is Gemini energy on the board, but I'm also picking up here with the six of wands that this divine masculine is definitely concerned that this new masculine energy is going to have a public victory. This divine masculine is holding on to you tight. Four of pentacles, right? They're not letting you go. So I'm getting an unexpected visitor. I feel like this divine masculine is definitely going to try and make contact with you. Look, hermit mode. They've been by themselves. Look, in deep despair. By themselves, in deep despair. They've been in isolation, right? So it's like there may be illusions, right? That this divine masculine is out here with multiple energies or being a player. No, mm-mm. What else we got? I'm seeing a lot of anxiety with this Divine Masculine. Worried about the future of this connection, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Yeah, this is... Mm, this just got real complicated, didn't it? Look, ooh. Ooh, tower. Why is the tower moment showing up, Spirit? Some deception. Mm-hmm. Okay, why we got the tower moment? Why we got the seven of swords, spirit? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. And right when I said how complicated this is, right? Didn't that tower moment just show up with that sneaky betrayal, sneaky energy? Okay, so this divine masculine realizes, look, queen of swords energy, right? This divine masculine realizes that they really messed everything up. They caused this tower moment with their sneakiness and their deception. And then they turned around and tried to accuse you of being in that same type of energy that they're in. And I'm seeing Queen of Swords, right? So they know they're you are cold with them. They don't even know if they could repair things with you. But I'm, taking, I'm getting that unexpected visitor. Yeah, unexpected visitor energy, right? They're taking a leap of faith. This divine masculine is going to try and come towards you because they see the truth now. They definitely see the truth that you are their wish granted. You are their wish fulfillment. And they fumbled it with their insecurities, right? They fumbled it. Yeah. 
Look at that. Justice. Truth. Mm-hmm. Truth, right? Spirit, please give us more. Mm. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Look at this. Yeah, that nine of cups. They realized they were so close to having everything they manifested and wanted confirmation with the Wheel of Fortune. So very good karma, right? I'm picking up on good karma between the two of you. The one, this Divine Masculine that you're in no contact from, Divine Feminine. Yup. Oh. Well, I'm seeing a lot of action here. Yeah, I'm seeing them taking a lot of action to come towards you. Look at this. To rebuild. Three of Pentacles. To work together. They want to fix this. So I'm seeing that you may not have seen. It's like they weren't putting in the work, right? But and I'm seeing that you are going to see a change with this divine masculine and they're going to be very vulnerable and they're going to be very vocal about their true emotions and how they feel. There's not going to be any illusions, nothing hidden behind the scenes, right? They want you to trust them, right? And they want you to know that it's safe to love them. But they, I feel like with these wands that are showing up here, this divine masculine knows that they need to move quickly because they know this other masculine is competition, right? And they don't want, they don't want this person coming between you is what I'm getting, right? They're really worried about this. Yeah. Yeah child they got some competition and it, right when they right when they ended up out in the cold all of this happened right spirit please give us more look at this an abundant new beginning see i feel like this other masculine's definitely flashy something like that right oh oh uh, ah, oh right when i said this other masculine look what came out the devil card, some diabolical energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a karmic. This is some karmic energy, some deceptive energy. Okay, so be careful of this. New Ooh. There's some other motives with this new masculine. Why is that the devil card? That diabolical energy, manipulative energy. Please give us more. Wait a minute. What was that? Mm-mm. Okay. So I'm seeing disappointment. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine. Of, oh, and a difficult ending. This is not good energy. Oh, so this is a very deceptive energy. Some illusions. Some diabolical energy. And I feel like this could also be why this divine masculine is so protective. Yeah. They know more about this other masculine than meets the eye, right? Hold, look. Mm-hmm. Look at that eight of swords showing up. Whoa. What else we got, spirit? I'm seeing your divine masculine wants to put in a lot of work, right? They want to work to fix this. And that's also clarifying that three of pentacles. They've learned a brutal lesson, right? So I'm getting a brutal lesson, very difficult lesson that this divine masculine has learned. It's like I'm picking up on the energy of being in a karmic cycle. They... You know, I feel like you guys separated and they ended up in a karmic cycle, this third party energy. And that's where they learned this deep lesson, right? They found out just how rare you are. And they made a huge mistake with this upheaval, this chaos, this conflict, right? Yeah. And taking you for granted. But child, they've been through one heck of a cycle, right? But they're tapped in now. What else we got, Sarah? Please give us more. For the collective, oh, look at this. See it? There it is. Taking action to come towards you. What else we got, Spirit? See? Ace of Wands. And then look, the Knight of Swords. Rushing in with communication. Y'all, 
This divine masculine is constantly thinking about you and they're manifesting you through their thoughts is what I'm getting. Y'all, let's pull a few oracle cards real quick. Spirit, please give us a message for the collective regarding this energy, <clears throat> divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us a clear message. <clears throat> mm. You're going to be receiving communication. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This person needs to talk to you and they need to feel you close. They can't really function without you being near them. <clears throat> so they do want to break this silence. And yeah, you are heavily on their mind. They're constantly thinking about you, Divine Feminine. And they're hopeful. They're holding out hope, which is increasing that that's increasing that vibration of bringing you guys back together so i'm seeing here twin flame signs yes and i feel like this is this person that is your twin flame and they realize they made a mistake they're beginning to realize they've made a huge mistake look your love is real look at this heavy regret mm, unspoken this divine masculine wants to communicate how they truly feel. Look at that. You are the world to them. And this is a protected connection. Protected by the divine. Protected by this divine masculine. Angelic protection is what I'm getting. Angels protecting it. What else we got, spirit? Please give us more. They want to continue this mission of unconditional love. Come through, spirit. Yeah, very intense connection with you, right? What else we got? Oh, told you King of Cups energy showed up. Your stars are aligning. This love is infinite and eternal. This divine masculine is in love with you, divine feminine. I'm leaving this reading here, y'all. Thank you so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.